Kenny, uh, you know, you finished last season with, you know, five guys on your roster, and it was a tough, you know, tough way to end the year. Now you've got the 12th ranked recruiting class here on on campus. It's kind of really kind of a new beginning for you here with this group of players that you have now. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your outlook on things, at least for the short term here in the fall, on uh, on what you have? On your well, roster, I, I think uh, obviously our, our first concern was get the depth, and, mm -hmm. and we need to get the depth. We brought in four freshmen uh, from the local Atlanta area, which mm -hmm. I really like. I think that's important for us. Um, obviously, that add, that's going to add a lot of depth just in numbers. Um, but I think last year was a tough year. It was a mm -hmm. tough year all the way around. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the guys that were finished out the season, uh, I think they got tough. I think mm -hmm. I think it helped them kind of. You know, be put in a very tough situation. I think we grew from it, um, but yeah, you got we we got to get the numbers right, and the numbers numbers are in our favor right now. Mm -hmm. um, talk about this class that you have. Um, uh, like you said, they're all local. Um, uh, they're all highly ranked, or at least you know, Eubanks and and Michael K are the are the two highest of the of that bunch. But they're all you know they're all in the mm -hmm. top hundred or close. Um, uh, what do you what are you expecting out of them? You know, obviously in the fall you're not playing dual matches, so they're not right. you, you don't have to form a lineup yet. Mm -hmm. But what are you looking for those guys here in the fall? Well, I think uh, I don't know. I as far as the freshmen, we've been talking a lot about getting rid of the pecking order mm -hmm. mentality of who's supposed to be good or freshmen coming in are they supposed mm -hmm. to do well? Not supposed to do well and. We've kind of tried to throw that whole pecking order mindset out, mm -hmm. and uh, we're looking for freshmen to come in that just know who they are, know what they do well, and they're willing to do it under pressure. And uh, these guys have shown at a national level. Each one of them, I've seen each one of them in a, a, you know matches throughout the summer that ha have performed well under pressure, mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of doing it longer. And uh, not worrying about if, if somebody in college is, you know, three, four years older than them doesn't matter. Um, they're they're going to come out hopefully uh, hunting, kind of looking, looking to, to to get people and, and and to go into this first tournament. It's gonna it's gonna be interesting to to see them go out and, and play because they have the ability. It's not, not not anything about ability. It's just a matter of, of staying calm under pressure. And they all had some success over the summer in, the, mm -hmm. in some of those ITA events um, that they played in. I know Elijah won a you know, Elijah mm -hmm. won an event. Cole won an event, and you know uh, uh, Nathan, you know, got to the semis of the mm -hmm. ITA summer. You know, everybody seemed to, you know, do something, you know, noteworthy right. over the summertime. So, um, wh what's your sense of the strength of this bunch uh, as a whole? Uh, right now, yeah. I think w over the summer we want them playing tournaments, yeah. and you can only get better at uh, you know performing in tournaments. And so it was good to see these guys get out and, and have some wins in tournaments. Um, we had each one of them had significant wins in, in different tournaments, and so uh, it, it's good to be able to put your finger on something and say, okay, I, I accomplished that, and you know at a college level or at, you know some some at uh, small pro tournaments, but. Uh, you know, I, I think as as a group, this guy, th these guys are, are gelling together pretty well. They they like each other. They they you know a lot of them are from this area. Um, they get along very well, and uh, you know you're always looking for that little extra. What what's going to make the difference in the season? And uh, they're just they're good guys. They're working hard. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of a lot of tennis that, that you know we're, we're trying to improve things in a short amount of time here you know we're already hopping into our first we haven't had an official practice yet yeah that was going to be my next question you know you you're opening your fall season yet your official practice window <laughs> uh you haven't had you haven't had anything how do you prepare to play in a tournament when you don't have when you don't have a whole lot of lead time yeah, I think we. That's the advantage of, of making sure the guys play over the summer, mm -hmm. so they're matched up over the summer. We have the individual lessons. We work with them uh, a couple each week, and mm -hmm. uh, and they've had the 
captain's practice to where uh, Nathan Rackett was our captain last year, and, and they've gotten together, and each one of the guys have kind of taken a little bit uh, ownership in the team, and it's helped. And mm -hmm. so they, it's not like they're not playing. They're going out. They, they played, I mean, by this stage, they've played a lot of tennis, and, and all we're doing is trying to add on to their games and individual lessons and just give them different tools that they can go out and use throughout uh, the season or the freshmen, you know, starting now throughout their four years that they're going to have different tools that they can play uh, against different different styles of players. But I think for us, it, it's keying on, we do uh, our style, we got to know. We got to know what we do well. If we, if each individual knows what they do well, and they can go out there and perform that under pressure, then make slight adjustments to different game styles that they're going to be coming up against. And, uh, you know, the, by them playing these captain's practice, they kind of they coach up each other a little bit. And it's, we've had some good mentoring going on. You touched on your uh, chemistry a couple minutes ago. You said these guys all like each other. And I, I kind of get that sense just from a little bit that I've been around. Talk about your lead, your your upperclassmen here. What are the, you know, what's the leadership uh, mm -hmm. like? Nathan, Eddie's, Eddie's mm -hmm. the only senior here. Right. Um, talk about those two guys and, and what kind of, um, leadership that they bring to this bunch yeah I think I mean they've got two different personalities Eddie's a, a, a happy-go-lucky guy and, and just fun to be around and mm -hmm. and uh, and and Nathan's a great leader as far as just uh, the, the principles he puts in on a daily basis and uh, both those are guys are great their personalities are great for the team we need both and uh, as well as Casey K mm -hmm. uh, he's he's been out injured and uh, he's, he's, I tell you what, he's, he's unfortunately had hip surgery. He's, gonna, he's coming back strong, rehabbing with that. But he's been out to every practice. He's been, he's been serving the team uh, so selflessly. And, and that, uh, you know, when you, when you have that combination of guys, when they're out and they show up and they're, they're doing what they need to do to get back ready, but they're serving the team, uh, that means a lot. It means a lot to me, but I know it means a lot to the guys on the team. Um, ITA rankings came out this week. Nathan is uh, in the singles group. You have two doubles teams in the group uh, in the rankings. Um, so, I mean, that certainly bodes well, at least, if, you know, people on the outside think we've got some pretty good talent on this team. Mm -hmm. On those, let me talk about Nathan first. What's his, what's his development been like? Uh, over the course of his career here, uh, in your mind, and what do you what do you expect from him? Yeah, Nathan's been uh, he's been fun to watch because he came in uh, not one of the top juniors uh, in the nation, but has developed each year. And the the thing I like most about his last year, he came in and just you know did better and better his freshman year. But uh, the second year, you come out and you get a little more of a target on you, and you start mm -hmm. looking backwards, you're in trouble. He was able to keep focused on looking ahead, and and that's what you look each year. If you can, if you can keep looking ahead and keep trying to uh, improve, which we talk about that every day. Is are we getting better every day? And and if you're looking backwards, you're not getting better. Mm -hmm. And so he's been able to do that, and he's gonna, you know, he had a pretty good season last season, so he's gonna have a few more targets on him, and you know, you get those expectations up a little bit. You just gotta throw that all away, and uh, he's. He's been a, a, a very good leader for us, and uh, you know I know he wants to do well in singles this year, but he also wants to have a good doubles year, and I think that's going to be important for him. Um, Eddie and Carlos ranked 20th in doubles. Nathan and Cole ranked uh, 57th or somewhere thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Are you going to play those two teams like that in the tournament this weekend? Will they play together this weekend, uh, or are you going to try weekend, something different? Right. This weekend, uh, Eddie and uh, Carlos will play together. Okay. Uh, what did I say? Eddie and – I meant Eddie and Carlos. Right? Yeah, Eddie and okay. Carlos will play yeah. together, but Nathan and, and Cole and are Cole. not. Nathan, not. we're going to split those guys up. And, okay. uh, and uh, right now, Nathan's going to be playing with Chris Eubanks, and Cole's okay. going to be playing with Michael K. Okay. And then Daniel is, is going to be playing with Elijah. So okay. um, it gives us – it's one of the uh, – we have probably two – tournaments I think in the fall that the entire team is going to be at right and then we're taking some upperclassmen to the All-American mm -hmm. so we'll keep we'll, we'll switch it back to have uh, Nathan and Cole together at the All-American so 
Yeah, in the fall, you're trying to just kind of see, give different opportunities to different teams a little bit. We don't get a lot of tournaments to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but we do know Carlos and Eddie have played well together. We know Cole and uh, Nathan have played well together. So um, we don't necessarily need to play those guys always together, but, right. but we will a little bit in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, your, what do you, Chris is another one that I wanted to ask you specifically about. He's, he's a little bit unlike anybody that's been in this program up to now. He's got, I mean, he's six foot seven. He's, you know, he's long and lanky. Um, he's, he's had the, I guess, the benefit, the privilege of kind of having been mentored by, you know, Donald Young and having been around him a lot at some major events, you know, around what, um, what has that kind of a background done to help him? Yeah, I think his game style um, is is actually similar to a lot of guys on the pro tour, to where he's a big serve, big forehand, and uh, I think playing actually with Donald Young a bit, uh, he was a junior that had a big serve, but it was coming back, mm -hmm. and so he wasn't used to getting a you know a nice easy sitter for a, a you know a, a return of serve. He was used to picking the ball off his feet, and, mm -hmm. and that, that created some good hands, I think, in, in his game. So um, he's got a lot of talent. He's got, uh, I, I think, we, you know, we're, we're trying to uh, get his strength up, and that's going to be key for his first year is, is he's in the weight room a ton, and he's doing a great job with it. But, uh, uh, you know, he, he's willing to put the work in. He's already shown that. And it's, it's going to be fun watching and see how well it does. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it.